You will know about myself when I discuss social Darwinism. You can see my room is the way I live within the communism of the way things are supposed to be. So, this is our first lesson about understanding how the world is made. Hello guys, so my name is Michael and I'm gonna give you a perspective on social Darwinism from beginning to end which you could use to analyze yourself and you can analyze the shit out of it from many times you want. Okay, so let's start. So my idea about social Darwinism and competition and things that people get really upset about and try to understand uh, why they should live life in general about to, to do with anything comes from the idea that everything happens inside our head. If we're not happy in our head, we're not going to be happy on the external world, which is what Te uh, the Book of War by Teo Cruz says. So the idea is that we first got to be happy in our head because no matter what we get, if we're not happy in our head, we're not going to be happy externally. But there is an external influence with the internal influence, of course. So we're going to go into the next state of understanding what we need. Okay, so uh, the way social Darwinism is viewed is really corrupt by the norm. So let's just set a new expectation because adaption of the social norm is uh, very complex for all parties to change to and adapt to at that same time time because the social norm is uh, based on insanity that's why I'm half insane okay now let's go into the understanding all right so if we can't really adapt to the norm because the norm's insane we could still adapt to the idea that we're adapt uh, we're learning to understand how we adapt and to understand how humans adapt they first have to undergo the process of you know bias selection where individuals try to um, create a world where their expectations would be met with the social norm but they don't understand the idea that corruption could be otherwise thought of differently at first it could be considered corruption but later it could be considered progress or it could be considered prosperity or development or evolution so it's really uh, hard to say one thing and conclude that to be the fact and the truth of, of everything that's that's one thing now as society and people develop they first go from a state of being very low very arrogant very ignorant very improper very not 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 official and a lot of individuals want to be official a lot of people want that power but they can't get that power now that's the idea that i'm gonna pro possibly give you a better way to power now see if the person in power is very aggressive like intjs for example that's all i know because that's why i'm gonna mention it no kidding so uh if if people you know are like uh business man a little bit like uh, psychopathic and they want to go into power they got to understand that if they're going to be aggressive they're not going to get anywhere or they're not going to stay there as long as they're going to get there because to get there as I watched the video to understand that you don't really got it from a psychopath that you don't really got to be a psychopath to get to the top of the food chain but to stay there you you, you definitely got to be so that's the idea and the idea consists of the understanding that once you're up there and you uh, have negative traits and negative intentions, you will be shot back down. So the idea is for you to actually learn, not just seem good. And when you learn to seem good and you're at the top and you have good ethics of, of creating a good society for other individuals so you actually have a value of uh, what you're doing within society, of, of what you represent, then you could go to the top. And then where you, when you're going to be at the top, you could finally just live your life without a small, without a big transition of change in your lifestyle. Now, about psychopathy, it's a uh, very histrionic and, you know, they have world when romance is going on I just want to say to psychopaths because this is part of social Darwinism which they kind of do on the low developed scale is they try to hide fact from other individuals on what they're doing and instead they try to you know like take it in for themselves and and try to you know deceive others by every single activity that they do 
it is uh, very obvious that it's uh, already written in clinical evidence that uh, people shouldn't be doing that and that's first of all unfair and first of all you're not going to get any values because the the life and the principle of exchange consists of providing information to others but if you didn't know that and if I just made your corrupt mind more corrupt then fuck me okay let's continue now the idea is um, that every individual builds his fort builds builds his ability to uh, you know deploy stuff deploy his nation deploy his people deploy his skills and that deployment whether it is materialistically uh, present which comes in money and physical value or if it's uh, internally present which comes from cognitive processes of the mind that create the idea that the person could be rich and uh, winning inside his mind which is just as worse as material corruption just inside your mind you have the idea of you having monies inside your mind whether than outside of your mind so that's how you get it now there is individuals that are corrupt on both spectrums and you can't say one is worse than the other so things are pretty much relative to each other okay now we went over that and the idea of trying to learn how to create yourself an ethical uh, social Darwinism is to kind of understand the basic theories that society provides you with and understand the adaption of expectations that you have to achieve in society to reach where you will be more prosperous in your life and you gotta understand the fun of individuality and the fun of self prosperity and growth then from there you can uh, understand how you could build your life in a way where you will be so happy that you will actually resonate and vibrate your help across other individuals and as you do that you will just have an amazing life and people around you will have an amazing life and hopefully if it reaches me I'll have an amazing life so that's the idea you know and uh, there is a theory I mean I I, I, I oh yeah, I'm pretty much a pessimist but <laughs> well, there is a theory Theory that goes uh, this goes pretty much like this there was an individual and he said you know what people don't understand or realize what they're grateful for but then I looked at it because I'm a true like fucking Thomas Hobbes kind of individual but I'm not really because I feel I'm a feeler type and I said something like this and I thought about it like oh you know that guy finds little things to be grateful for but people are still dying so his little gratefulness is a waste so that's that's kind of what I came up with with my perception as well and then um, and then the idea actually goes well you know if if you really value negative energy over positive energy then you are considered to wanting to be in negativity so why do you generate why should the world generate you in a negative state of mind to a positive state of mind when you desire to be negativity so you harvest what you earn it's kind of kind of mentality now the idea goes further than that to say that you know if people again were very uh, considerate of, of their past actions their future actions their present actions and of them being really corrupt and, and changing them better to, to the better to the better of, of things then the individuals would be able to realize the idea that oh maybe you know we're creating a good society here and maybe it's worth stopping our egoism and trying to make an actual change and not always be you know in our head walking back home because I did that a thousand times and not make a change in society so you better make a change I don't know if you want to make a change okay so next thing goes to say Say that you know positivity does go a long way and if you understand why you need to be positive and why you need to influence the norm in the way that you need to do it then you will get this idea that you know you're not doing it from the heart anymore so you're a bitch but you're doing it from the mind and, and that's pretty good as well so with that idea you, you take it okay so when you're grateful for everything there is nothing to be ungrateful for that's basically what I wanted to say but it took me a while and that would be like the first part of social Darwinism that is really important and then the, the whole idea about our world being masked into a playground of of softening knives when the knife is, is simply still there well okay that's a little bit a little bit hard on the visionary <laughs> situation there but the idea is if you take out a knife and I mean fucking shit why am I saying this I, I okay so the idea is if you have the, the knife uh, and it's soft it still could hurt somebody if you press 
hard enough. Okay, that that sounds very Joker. Like, okay, let's go restart this. Okay, so the idea comes from we're being masked. You know, we're in this playful playground, but shit's really happening. People are really dying, and we don't. We should care about that shit. So that's the conclusion to social Darwinism with Michael T. I hope you have a good day, and I hope you understand that this corruption will fuck you up everywhere. So, <laughs> so take care and enjoy your day. I hope you understand that you could be grateful when you take everything for granted so far. <laughs> All right. So that kind of concludes it, right? What What else do you want to know about this world? Nah, not really much. It's pretty. South basic. No, no, actually, you want to know something. Okay, fuck. This is this fucking Myers and Briggs shit. Sorry, another theory. Messes with your mind. Okay, bye bye.